All right, just taking a stroll on this cloudy day, you know what I mean? Alhamdulillah, we're going to really enjoy this one. So, uh, Ma Yassin, could you, you know, tell us maybe a little bit about Bagamoyo? What, what's, what's happening here? Give us a little intel, a little historical information about this town of Bagamoyo. Uh, the Bagamoyo town is famously known by the local whereby it was a depot for most of the slaves who were being taken from, this, from the uh, interior to be, to be exported maybe to the Arab Emirates and so on and so forth. So it was like a depot whereby most of those who were being uh, captured in the rural areas were taking a long way to be taken aboard by the ships. So it was famously known for that, but we have uh, the culture of local people, traditional local people, the coastal people. This is one of the origin of those, the Bagamore people. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna learn more about as we go on. Yeah. How the how it was it came to be called the Bagamore because it's uh, the meaning of Bagamore. It means the land of leisure. Bogamoyo, any a place where you need to enjoy Bogamoyo. Okay. So that's why it came to. Okay. Yeah. So All right. Yeah. So yeah. So Yasin giving us some intel there as we as we as we carry on walking, we're gonna learn more about this town. So let me show you what the vibe is like here right now. Let me show you what I'm seeing. So this it's winter time here in. Tanzania so you can see today it's quite quite a cloudy day but the weather is really cool you know and for some people in the coastal areas especially in different coastal towns in Tanzania this type of weather is a blessing man it's considered good luck and because of how cool the weather is it's not too hot and everything like that so definitely it's much appreciated this type of weather by the locals here and we're walking towards the main market in Bagamoyo so you will see a glimpse of that but as we walk on the way you see how local people prepare certain things on firewood to cook and these are like really local shops right it's a real kind of a village feel as we're walking through here people selling oranges bananas and different things like that so yeah this is the vibe here in Bagamoyo coastal town of Bagamoyo Okay, so we're, we're basically walking through the vid village areas here where a lot of the local people live here in Bagamoyo and this is the vibe like I was showing you earlier what you expect to see it's, it, it gives me a real village vibe being here you know very laid-back feel it almost feels something like It gives me the similar vibe to what I experienced when I was in Lindi, which is in southeastern Tanzania. So we're going to um, walk around and see some of the historical sites to the town. So um, Yassin, how, how far is Bagamoyo from Dar es Salaam? Kilometers, how many kilometers? Taking a bus from Dar es Salaam to Bagamoyo, it's a distance of 65 kilometers. Okay. Uh, so a one and a half hour bus journey travel. Yeah. Once you have to reach in uh, Bagamoyo. Okay. And uh, this is the famous old stone town. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it starts from here going all the way up to the coast. Okay. Yeah. All right. Subiri, subiri. So um, I wanted to ask you something, um, Yasin. You know, before, I have spoken to some elders and what they're saying this place wasn't always known as Bagamoyo. Could you tell us maybe a little history about the original name of the place, what it was known for and everything like that? Okay, from uh, the old people, they will tell you this place was known as Bagamoyo. 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 Okay. And not Bagamoyo. And why was it called as Bagamoyo? It's because it was known for its hospitality. 
They tell you Bogamo is a place where you could come and receive hospitality and never forget about it. Okay. But currently, they will tell you it's Bagamo, and because it's so Bagamo, it's a place of leisure. Okay. Now it has been known a place where people go and have luxuries. Uh, we say time enjoyment time, full enjoyment time. Right. But back then, it was a place of hospitality. Okay. And uh, we're gonna start. This is the famous old stone town conversation center oh. behind us. Okay, all right, so we're gonna see that. Mm. So yeah, guys, from what you're saying, this place was known as a place specifically for hospitality, a place where you come and you feel at home, and then that kind of changed to a place which was known for leisure. People just come to have a good time and stuff like that. But originally, this place was really a place of hosp hospitality, and that makes sense because if you really think about a lot of the Swahili people, the Swahili coastal towns throughout Tanzania, I have noticed that they're quite hospitable. Every time I go there, they're very much welcoming and stuff like that. And this is an ancient Swahili town. Now, a lot of you all know Zanzibar for having Stone Town and stuff like that, but there were also a whole Stone Town vibe here as well, once upon a time. So we're gonna check that out right now. Okay, I hope you've been enjoying this video so far, guys. And I'm always gonna be providing you with amazing and lit content out here. Inspire for Travel Channel is popping anyways right now I've, you can see i've got my king t-shirt on and i've got a few other t-shirts which i did like for example tanzania whole other different t-shirt on my website so you can see right now if you're on your mobile phone you can see examples of the t-shirt right under this video if not link in the bio to my website and support the channel by purchasing a t-shirt get your t-shirt game on point for the summer guys peace out and enjoy the video so this is an example of the, you know, the ancient way in which a lot of the stone buildings was built here in Bagamoyo, all right? And this specifically here, is there anything happening in this building now? I know, and this, uh, right for right now, they are just under the conservation to preserve the history of it. Okay. Yeah. So, of course, in Tanzania, you have the conservation um, places. Let me just give you a close-up look, right? So it's, it's preserved by the conservation center here in Tanzania. And this is it here. There's clearly a grave site of someone here. And then this is what the stone structure is like. So they, they are preserving it for the historical benefits of the town. And I'm sure there'll be more as we carry on our journey here in Bagamoyo, guys. This is also a well where you can see the ladies are sitting, people come to draw water from the well here as well. So this is what the well looks like guys. So this is a well. Very interesting, you know, coming from Western countries, people have, a lot of people have for, forgotten the whole concept of going to draw water from the well. And this is something that you still find in many of the towns, coastal towns and different interior parts here in Tanzania. So this is life on the real streets. Really have a, a sleepy vibe, as, as you all can see very laid back chill place you know people you know doing um small scale businesses to make ends meet um what are some of the businesses people do here to for to earn a living here in bagamoyo uh mostly the highly practice business uh, done by the local is selling of fish selling of fish uh, because we are close to the harbor Okay. And uh, most people around here are fishermen. Yeah. So and women are women who stays at home back. Okay. So the men go to fish and the women who will look after the family at home. So yeah. most of the practices here is uh, fish. Yeah. Uh, selling of fish. Selling of fish. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, 
one of the things you'll notice when you come here you'll always find various you know places of lodging place you can stay like right now you can see this is Bagamoyo Vision Lodge and this is of course a small hotel here that you can come and stay when you come to Bagamoyo now that's a very unique feature that you see in Tanzania in a lot of the various places you you there will always be you know accommodations where you can go and stay for the night and the more you travel away from cities like Dar es Salaam it's much more affordable sometimes you could get places like these for let's say 15,000 Tanzanian shillings a night 20,000 Tanzanian shillings a night so that'll be quite um, affordable especially for some people who are on a certain budget so this is Tanzania baby is So this is a coastal town and so far what I have noticed is definitely Watoto. Watoto, Mambo VP. Yeah, so so far being here one of the things I've noticed is people do like fish here. They enjoy eating a meal with fish. So be, being here in the coastal town you'll notice a lot of children and people around here enjoy eating fish that's a very important part of their diet so stuff like fish with rice or fish with ugali yeah, exactly okay so fish and rice fish with ugali you know it's some of the staple diet here for the people in, in Bagamoya okay so this is a stone house typical stone structure building that was built this is the style from a long time yeah, ago from yeah long 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 time okay. ago okay Zamani Zamani San Agro okay all right Uh, funny thing is in when we were when I did a last video in Pangani, I also a lot of people are not building their houses in that structure again, but you do see a lot of ancient buildings similar to this with the similar stone structure. This is actually a signature feature that you see in many of the coastal towns here in Tanzania. Almost a similar vibe to the to the ones in uh, Stone Town, Zanzibar, but I just say in Zanzibar they have much more buildings. Yeah, in comparison to Bagamoyo. Zanzibar Uku. Ah yeah. This is another one. This one's not preserved that well, but you can still see parts of it. Bagamoyo, that's right, man. We're in Bagamoyo right now. You know what I mean? We're just strolling, people, man. I'm sure you guys are even feeling the laid back vibe of this town you know what i mean it's really laid back and just cool and chill you know like if you really want to come on a holiday where it's just really a laid back vibe not too much drama going on not too much noise definitely consider bagamoyo 
And it really helps if you really want to practice your Swahili, get your Swahili game on. Bagamoyo is the place to be because many people here, they don't really speak English, they speak his Swahili. So they will be very much happy to even hear people coming from abroad making that attempt to speak Kiswahili you know what I mean so definitely consider coming out here there's accommodation and all of that cloudy day but the weather is really cool man it's around 25 degrees and for Dar es Salaam I can tell you now that's really nice you know Sometimes it could get really hot here, up to like 35 degrees in the day. And that could be really hot. You just want to stay in a nice, stay in a building with the AC and chill out. But today you don't need none of that. I'm not sweating much or anything like that. It's a really nice weather, man. So this is the real village area here in Bagamoyo. Okay. So we're walking through this part of the village here. Like this is, is this like one of the main schools, primary schools in Bagamoyo? Yeah, it's here. Okay. It's a primary school in Bagamoyo. Now I, I want you guys to really have a look um, with some of the windows here. Really traditional European colonial style windows. And it's really loud, one of the features you hear in the school, children probably saying certain words in whatever lessons they're learning. The floor is obviously sandy, it's quite sandy. This is how the kids play a game of football here, guys. Really nice laid back vibe, you know, in the school. These doors, you'll see that type of feature of door in Zanzibar as well. The sometimes. Yeah. Another part of the stone buildings, stone town buildings that you will have seen a lot here in Bagamoyo a long time ago. And this is like a playground area. Now this is a local school, guys. It's not private. So this is a local school. You see a lot of um, local children here as well. You know what I mean? Habari zenu? Yeah. Habari zenu? Habari la shuleni? Nzuri sana? Kuna jifunza masoma gani? Eh, English? So unajua kuzungumza Kiingereza? Ndio. Sema ki sema sema Kiingereza. Okay, how are you? You're fine, thank you. You're fine, thank you. Uh, so yeah, they, they, they speak English as well. They're learning English. They're learning other subject here, guys. And this is the vibes here at the school. All right.